Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Absolute pleasure um, to have you all join us today. Uh, when we started about uh, 20 minutes back, we, you know, due to Bangalore traffic, we just had about 60, 65 folks. I think the number has crossed about 120. So first of all, thanks uh, for uh, all of you making it today. Second anniversary is uh, very special, uh, but being among friends and our own community of founders makes it even more special. Uh, when we started Axelor about two years back to help more entrepreneurs succeed, the most obvious thing seemed to be uh, to fund, right? Uh, but a quick look, when we look deeper, um, it was very clear that to, uh, if you were to focus on improving odds of success of startups in their first 12 months, in their very early stages, the impact that we could make uh, could be much larger to the ecosystem, right? Uh, why? Um, two or three obvious reasons. Um, if you look at the angel and seed investment capacity in India, it's about one hundredth of what we need compared to some of the other ecosystems. Uh, as a country, while we have large, unique uh, problems that are amenable to innovation and uh, tech solutions provided by entrepreneurs, 75% uh, of startups pertain only to three sectors. Uh, over 90% of funding goes only to them. Um, there is very little institutional capacity uh, to support startup in early stages, despite the number of accelerators that are there. Uh, just to give you some comparison, uh, in, in a place like US, and I'm quoting US because it's possibly the only larger ecosystem than India now, uh, one out of 10 startups go through an accelerator, uh, but one out of three getting funded is from an accelerator, right? I don't have the exact data for India, but anecdotal conversations with some of the really large VCs the number can be anywhere between 1 is to 50 and 1 is to 75 in the two cases that I spoke about. So uh, it was quite obvious that uh, you know funding is important, but it's also important to do a certain set of things that's, uh, that's focused on startups in their very early stages. And that's what we set out to do. Uh, Chris already spoke about the three programs that we have put in place. Uh, the accelerator program was meant to take startups from idea to pilot uh, without spending any cap, a lot of money. The scale-up program provides them seed funding of about 25 lakhs. And the third program, which is about early stage funding, looks at funding anywhere up to three crores to help them move from uh, launch to scale. So what did we actually accomplish in the last uh, 24 months? Uh, it takes about two years for any good startup to find their product market fit. Axelor is no different. We are a startup ourselves. And the last two years were quite interesting. When we actually started out way back in Jan 2015, uh, we were at the peak of funding summer, right? And we have seen the uh, season change to autumn, if not winter. Uh, after about two years, um, 20 investments, including the approvals that we have given, 40 plus startups supported, and uh, 80 plus community of founders, our convictions on what we set out to do have only been strengthened. Uh, we have built possibly the most founder-friendly uh, platform for through the accelerator and the uh, investment programs. We are also extremely fortunate to have cultivated a set of distinguished entrepreneurs and technologists uh, who uh, work with us as resident advisors, uh, whose expertise and time is available to every single startup. Um, and the third most important asset is the community of founders that, have, that has gotten created, right? Uh, founders mostly listen to only other founders. So being part of a large alumni network is very valuable to them. Any problem, any reference, or any counsel is just another Axelor alumni away. In fact, in our accelerator program, the fourth batch is currently running, uh, many of the startups are able to find their first two to three uh, customers from within the com community, alumni community. So that brings me to the question of uh, what do we actually, uh, 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 which sectors we work in, uh, what do we invest in, and with what kind of founders we work with. Till now, we have focused on uh, three sectors, uh, consumer internet, enterprise uh, SaaS, and healthcare. Uh, one thing that you will possibly find with most Axel or startup founders is that they have possibly learned to uh, treat cap, uh, not to treat capital as a substitute for customer insights. You will find startups like Evensai and Pocket Aces who have built really large uh, consumer businesses through mostly organic route with user bases ranging anywhere between half a million to a few million users. In healthcare, uh, there are portfolio companies like Neurosynaptics, uh, which solve very tough problems in uh, uh, healthcare access, touching more than 50 million lives. 
and emergency, which is bringing down the response time for emergency care by almost a third of what it is today. In the enterprise space, uh, startups like Urban Piper, AppsFly, SecureX, InfiSecure, Zobin uh, are building products with global relevance and taking on very large incumbents. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy meeting uh, many of them later in the evening. So um, now that we have a core philosophy, uh, our convictions are stronger, what we set out to do, three programs, a scalable platform, and a set of partnerships. Uh, it's important for me to give you a sense of how do the next 12 months look like. One advantage of being a startup or a very young company is that the future is as exciting and challenging as the past, right? Some luxuries that um, only startups have. So as most founders and investors will agree, uh, there's nothing more exciting than growth. Uh, we are no different. Uh, we will definitely accelerate and scale this year. Uh, while we will be doing several things from a growth and scale perspective, I will share with you uh, five most exciting initiatives, uh, many of them uh, helping our existing startups, and some of them directed at creating new startups. First is market access. Um, in early stages, there's nothing more important to startups than market access and investor access. Uh, most of the founders who are in this room don't have to really worry about investor access. On the market access, uh, I'm extremely happy to announce two partnerships, one directed at providing access for global markets and one for the domestic market. Um, thanks to Shoaib uh, of uh, uh, Shoaib's support, I'm happy to announce a partnership with Tally, the leader in the enterprise software space with a customer base of over 1 million enterprises. Uh, this partnership will allow uh, Axelor startups to um, uh, have go-to-market access uh, to the SMB customer base across verticals. Thanks to uh, KK, Krishna Kumar here, and his sponsorship, uh, I'm also happy to announce a partnership with Mindtree, a uh, global leader in technology services, for providing our startups focused on global markets. Again, go-to-market access to global customers across key verticals. Uh, we will expand these partnerships as we look at new areas, new spaces, global enterprise SaaS is one, uh, consumer sectors like media and content is another, especially vernacular, and large commerce opportunities that uh, Sharad touched upon uh, arising out of platforms like Aadhaar and the India Stack. Uh, the second initiative is in healthcare. Uh, it's an area that we focus on. Uh, we will scale our directed challenge uh, platform called Heliate, thanks to Dr. Vijay Raghavan of NCBS and uh, Dr. Taslim support. I'm happy to announce a partnership with CCAMP aimed at supporting in the next three years 100 startups at least uh, focused on 10 large healthcare, challenge, healthcare challenges and problems that are unique to India. Uh, third is on data and insights. Um, almost uh, one out of every four new startups getting founded uh, happens to be an applicant to the Axelor's Accelerator program. So we have a great window into understanding what's happening in the early stage space. Um, we will make our insights widely known. Uh, there is very little data, especially about startups and what it takes to invest in very early stages. So that's something that we will try to fix. Uh, we've already started doing it through the state of uh, startup survey. Uh, we are also thinking of launching an early stage startup index that tracks startup activity, helping founders and investors benchmark better. Fourth is around making problems better known. Uh, working on problems that nobody wants a solution for is one of the biggest risks for most uh, startup founders. Uh, this is even more accurate, uh, acute in new sectors and technologies. We are launching a series to bridge this gap in partnership with Tech in Asia, a very respected platform for tech and entrepreneurship. The series will bring together entrepreneurs, experts, and platform owners face-to-face -face with startups in related areas who are in early stages. And finally, uh, we will expand our presence. Uh, in Bangalore, we will look at creating a few more centers so that we are um, Bangalore traffic notwithstanding, not more than an hour away from any founder. The first such center, Axelor Transit and Residency Road, will possibly be inaugurated in a month's time. Uh, we will also build bridges with innovation ecosystems across the world, with universities, investors, startups, corporates. Uh, to connect and provide access to market and partnerships to our startups. Uh, the first such office we will uh, look at opening in the US in the next year. So I'll just conclude by saying that, uh, you know, working with founders is always a humbling experience. Uh, but as a platform founded by some of the most iconic entrepreneurs who will bring in the same in enterprise, discipline, and execution focus we demand of our startups. Uh, we know that we are work in process, um, and we will continue to be in permanent beta. Um, 
So, so whatever we have set out to do, one thing that we have been extremely lucky uh, is to have the trust and support of uh, startup founders as well as the set of partners, all of whom are here. So as we move ahead, we look forward to your continued support on this journey. I wish you all a great uh, year ahead.